All right, so this is going to be a no contact for Gemini's. And Gemini's, I only have 10 minutes and 32 seconds, so perfect. So if this does resonate for you, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the white tee. It's going to be a 10 minute draw, you guys. If it doesn't resonate, I'll have the playlist linked below if you want a personal. All the information is down below for that. I do have a personal package available for the month of February. I do have their regular package as well, but if you want 15 minutes read, it's only $55. You guys, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit me up. Classes are available for, to learn tarot the month of March. February is done. I'm not taking any more people for February, okay? All right, so let's see what we have for you. Thank you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on here? For Gemini's, no contact. The person that Gemini is thinking about, the person that's thinking about Gemini's. What is the energy? No contact. Ooh, the Emperor. Whoa, that's that's like a huge force of energy and determination. So a lot of you could be dealing with the Aries right off the ball here. We have the Three of Cups in reverse, something shady here, the Six of Swords. I feel like a lot of you, this, listen, this is what I'm getting. Like someone here was messing with your friend or your family and you felt like something was off within this connection. You felt like they were hiding something from you. You just felt like this situation was shady or this could be their friends or someone that they call family, but it's not really family. I'm just seeing like something happened between them. Okay, something happened between them here. And I'm also seeing like you're moving on because you're finding out the situation and you're moving on and letting go. I'm also getting like you know a lot, like you just learned a lot. You're still in this light energy, you're happy. You're happy. You feel like this was well needed. This was well needed. But I'm also getting Aries from Major Arcana here. Look at that. Very strong, powerful, firmed energy. This energy is coming off as someone that is just not willing to give up so easily. This person is coming in to be successful. I'm also seeing the Ace of Swords energy. So there's going to be a huge shift of energy. I'm also seeing the Eight of Cups and the queen of pentacles so you're protecting your state of mind don't this look like angelina jolie right on the she look like that so pretty okay but this is in reverse okay so you have a lot of responsibilities on your mind you feel like you have been babying this person you feel like you've been carrying out this person's dreams you feel like this person is sucking your bank account dry you feel like you had to like cut this person off. This is what I'm seeing here. The Eight of Cups energy is like this huge regret as well. Someone walked away from you and, walked in and felt like they're in some regret. But now they can't get to you because you're in this energy, this space. I'm seeing Leo next to this, uh, this um, Queen of Pentacles energy. So the, a lot of you could be dealing with a Leo here. You see that? You see that? Ha 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 ha. Okay, you're still wearing your crown, by the way. Look at you. You're just feeling like you need to protect your state of mind and your family, the people that really, truly love you. Like, that's the energy that you're giving away right now. Not to people that are, like, making you feel really sad inside and making you feel really small. And I'm also seeing, like, this person regrets walking away or regret doing something, and there's going to be some kind of shift. I feel like their guides are working towards them and having them see what needs to be seen here you see their faces being turned okay turned to you and now they're trying to understand like oh wow maybe i should have handled it this differently right so let's see tell me more Oop. no contact energy so there's a lot of negativity here like this person has been throwing a lot of shades talking about you making you feel very small discredit in all your achievements this is what i'm seeing here and they want a second chance with you but they don't want to have to talk about the things that they did to you i've also seen the seven of cups here so they cheated on you multiple times they have other options and they're overwhelmed emotionally oh my god but they feel like 
something about you. Gemini Virgo in reverse. So this person is a player. This person could be your twin flame. This person could be Gemini, 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 you, Gemini, them. <laughs> okay. We have Taurus energy here. So we have a non-codependency. So for those of you who are saying, oh, this person is doing this because someone is in their ears and this and that. No, this person is doing this because they want to do it. This, they are making a decision here, a final decision about this relationship. I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords energy. So there's a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of me mental and physical agony that you are facing. And this is why you're in this energy of protecting your state of mind. Because this person is pushing your bubble. Pushing your bubble, putting all these swords within your back. And the Holy Spirit is saying it's time to heal. Because you're not closing these doors. Something about this relationship, even though you are walking away and you're like, oh my God, maybe this space is so good for us right now. Something is happening here. A huge transition is happening. And it happened because of some effery that happened. I can't even say the word. <laughs> effery, okay, that happened. Some kind of friendship. This could be your friend, and that's that makes it sad, or your family. Because you're just so close, but you're not anymore, because it's in reverse. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. You're going to take yourself out of this mess. You're realizing the drama and how dirty this is, and you're like, no thank you. No thank you in 2024, okay? It's not too late to say it. No thank you. This is what you're saying here. We have the Five of Swords energy. Ooh, this person is in it to win it in very cold energy. I feel like lies, um, trials, tribulations, deceit, okay? Envy. Like this person, they always wanted to hurt you. I feel like I'm getting like this person is like, if I have to hurt you, I will. And that's what I did. And this Ace of Swords is in the upright. Not Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, the Five of Swords is in the upright, but I know we have the Ace of Swords. Did we, did we, did we? Yes, we did. But it doesn't mean anything. Yes, there's a shift, a whole shift that's happening here. And this person is realizing, but at the same time, the Five of Swords is still in the upright. So this person is in the place of learning, but they're still in this process of hurting you. Like, they feel like that's okay. The Queen of Wands energy, they're... And it's right next to the Queen of Wands. How beautiful are you? All you want to do is make sure that they're okay and well. And they're taking advantage of you. You just want to make sure that they got everything that they need. The King of Pentacles is also showing up here in reverse. So this person is avoiding you or avoiding their responsibility. For those of you who have a family together, I'm also seeing there's some kind of incompletion that's also taking place. So there could be a separation between you and this person. And the Holy Spirit is saying, hmm, not yet, you guys. There's unfinished business between you and this person. Um, but I have Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo here, Major Arcana. Taurus is coming up twice, all right? A lot of stubbornness, but no codependency, all right? They're doing this. They're being stubborn on their own. That's what I'm seeing here. Tell me more. Aries too. That's another stubborn energy. Seven of Wands. <sighs> Seven of Wands, y'all. This person is being very guarded or protective against you and against other people. It's like they're keeping secrets or keeping something to themselves. You see that? It's like something has been granted for them because the rabbit is a blessing, actually. The rabbit is like a blessing from like something that you've been asking for and you've been granted they're keeping this from you look at this they're acting like this is their blessing all right y'all one more and we're gonna close that's crazy we have the two of cups energy in the upright look at how beautiful this is oh my god oh my god such a handsome card all right, so I'm just getting like you and this person really care about each other. There's a strong pull here. 
even though this person cheated on you multiple times, even though the Three of Swords is definitely present, it's like I'm getting like this mutual feeling of coming back together and wanting it to work. But this is what I have for you guys. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. You have the moon showing up on the back of the deck. Pisces energy for those of you. Listen to your intuition. The Holy Spirit is saying listen to your intuition, you guys, because it's not too late. Love you and I'll see you guys in your next one.